All right, today we're gonna to look at how I use supports in Prusa Slicer version 2.6 or above. We're gonna load up Oliver's hooker hanger model here, which I know at this orientation will have one big overhang area that needs supports or it will not print. It's this big blue area right up there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by looking at the everywhere support option. I tend to use this little drop down here to get started. So I'll select everywhere. Once I do that, we're gonna slice it just to see what it looks like. And these are your default Prusa Slicer supports. They're kind of ugly. They leave a mark when they print on the model like this. So right there, you'll see a weird little scratchy line and we don't want that. So we're gonna head over to the print settings and support material page. Make sure we're on advanced or expert because the style setting, the one we need is at least an advanced setting. And once we see it, we're gonna change it to organic here. Head back over to the plater tab and just re-slice the model using the same everywhere support setting. And there we go, Prusa Slicer just knows where the overhangs are. It knows that you don't want to print anything on top of the model, so no marred, marred areas, no markings. Um, and here we go. So we've got that little support table to print that blue layer on. So this is gonna work just great as we export it as is. So let's take a look at, um, if you've got a model that's maybe a little bit more complex, so we're gonna clear this one out here. We're gonna head back to the plater and then just delete that. And I'm gonna add a um, Pegasus model, I think. Yeah, Pegasus. So this is a bit more complicated. If we were just to use the same settings we configured with the organic supports everywhere for this model, you might see that there's a bit too many trees. So we're gonna slice this using those settings. There, so it's kind of a mess. I don't know if we can successfully get that off. We can go ahead and tweak settings, but sometimes you just want either to block supports or to enforce supports in a specific spot. So let's start by looking at the blocker. I'm gonna right click on the model that I want to block supports on, and I'm gonna say, let's load a cylinder, for example. And what this does is it puts a little cylinder kind of attached to our, our model that we chose, and it's the Pegasus here. And within this cylinder, we can move it around and anywhere we put this, what it's telling Prusa Slicer is saying, do not put supports here. Don't touch anything here. I think I got it. So I'm just gonna maneuver this around a little bit, kind of messing around. You can use the rotate scale tools just the same. And you'll notice now the front half does not have any tree supports. It definitely needs some, but this is what we blocked. So you're not gonna see them. So the alternate to that is an enforcer. So we see the blocker, I'm gonna delete that. Right click delete. I'm gonna right click on the model again and choose support, add support enforcer. And an enforcer, let's try a box this time. I'll click on the box. An enforcer says, Prusa Slicer, I always want supports here. I always have a hard time printing this. Always make sure that this part is supported, even if it doesn't need it. So we're gonna move the square up, this box here. I'm just kind of messing around. Um, you can see that the same translation, rotation, and scale tools work with the, the generic box uh, enforcer here. So I'm gonna mess, mess around with it a little bit just to kind of make it fit. Uh, pro tip, it's easier to uh, rotate and position these things after you scale them. So first I rotated them here, I'm gonna move them on. You'll see this next step here, I try and scale it up and it's kind of wonky. It just kind of makes a rhombus shape, but it works here. So make sure you rotate last. Anyway, so what we get here when we, when we slice this is still everywhere. So we never changed the supports everywhere setting, but we did add an enforcer. So to get this only to print where we have the enforcers, we change the setting to support enforcers only. And then we slice it. And you'll see that now only the wing and only the areas that are touching that cube that we added, that box, are going to be supported. There it is. That's kind of the gist of it. Um, sometimes I'll tweak settings, but that's how I use organic settings in Prusa Slicer.